G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back, oh that's perfect timing, welcome back to Australia, we are back in the Outback Roadies overhaul mod for 7 days, that turns the whole world into the land down under, where I've been having an absolute ball, oh hell gotcha, I've got a pet dog, how could you not be all smiles, Sal, come here. Pat, pat, pat. No, don't run away. Today, though, is a very important day. We have absolutely rinsed. We have rinsed this town like it's lettuce for a salad. There is nothing left. There's nothing left for me here. There's a trader, but there's not much there anyway. So it's time to move on. I'm going to pack all of my gubs from this, uh, from this base into Sally, into me, and into my Jeep and get cracking on. Still haven't decided whether I'm going to Darwin up in the top north or all the way down to the south down to my hometown of Melbourne. We'll have to figure this out. <laughs> we'll see which way the wind blows us. Desert, less dangerous and slightly higher loot. Melbourne, more dangerous and much better loot. I mean, I'm a loot fiend. How could I say no to that? And my hometown... Yeah, nah, that's the side of it. We're going to Melbourne. I think I've grabbed everything. I've left a campfire with a cooking pot and my bedroll. So if things go exceptionally wrong, at least I can come back up here and have somewhere to spawn that I might be able to slowly stitch my life back together with. All of my storage is in here, but there's nothing else for me to pick up. I, I, I'm sorry, Sal. Look, I promise I know I'm moving house, but I'll make you a brand new fire and a brand new dog house as soon as we find somewhere new. We're off on a great big adventure and you're just going to come with me. I've got my workbench. I've got my forge, got my tools, got my jewel collectors, got my torches and my candles. I think I'm pretty fine. I do need to go and fuel up my Jeep though. In fact, that's something. It's a long, long drive down to Melbourne. So oh, is my fuel going to get me there? 17% fuel? I don't like my chances of that. I don't like my chances of that at all. Uh-oh. Sal? Where are you, Sal? Get somewhere. Get somewhere safe. There's a few zombies cruising by. Oh, I'm going to try and take it down quietly. I don't want to piss off the whole horde. There's a zombie dog right there, actually. You're going to have to cop it first. I don't want to have to deal with you at all. Good pill. Zombie dog down. So the rest of them go by. We're all okay. <laughs> we don't have time for this. We've already loaded the car and we're moving. Drop down to you. Sally, get back over here, please. I'll jump in the car so you teleport to me. You should be... There you are, just there. Sally's fine. Where did... Where did you come from? I'm sorry, what? How are you here? Why are you here? Scrap you, drink you. Thank you for the ammo. I'll take the blood bag as well. All right, there's a few. There's a few. Go, Sal. Nibble. Bite. Chomp. Oi, get out from under me wheels, please. Bloody hell. You're going to snap my axle right before we get out of here. I'm moving the car. I'm moving the car. I'm going to do one last little pass over of the house, make sure I've got everything, but I think we're ready to rock and roll. Hordes be damned. Yep. That's it. That's all she wrote. I'll take you back again. Thank you, Firehouse, for housing me and Sally for a little bit. I, um, I'll miss you. It's a nice base. I really like being here, but I think we're good. Oh, do I, do I swing? Oh, trade is open, actually. I might swing past trading and see if I can get a cheeky job from him. Because I'll find another... Who are you, Trady Joel? I find another Trady Joel somewhere out there. Maybe I can tan it in, or is that just... Nah, it's daft. Nah, it's daft. Never mind. We've got our bumper pointed south. We're going to not quite pin the throttle, but drive very efficiently and smartly all the way down to the south. I didn't find enough acid to make myself the, um, the, what's it called? The fuel economy mod, but you never know. We're going to go that way. Turn right onto the highway. If I can make it, great. If I find some acid, even better. I'll take a pit stop and make myself the efficiency mod. There goes my bed roll on the side of the road. We're back. Oh, the flying spider's still there. We're back where it all began not that long ago. Oh, look at that. The red sounds of the, the red sands even of the outback. Let's go find all the ruined cat of Judah and see if we can um find ourselves some caves living or something, something to get out of the desert heats. All right. We got much more Australian now. Although the cactuses are definitely not. This whole time? Oh, good day, Skippy. Oh, good day, ginormous spiders. Holy shit. <laughs> Straight on by. Uh, Skips, that's all yours there, champion. I'm not going anywhere near any of those eight long dangly legs. I will quickly raid this car on the way past, though. Sal, do not go back up the road. That is not a fight I think you can win, nor I want you to even try. That's a shovel that's 
Worse. Oh, 81 damage you're doing. That's a real good bloody shovel. Let's go for the art. I'll take that. I'll take you. Don't need the rotten sangam. And keep on pushing. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's a... Uh... Oh! That's a whole lot of something else. Is that a casso or an emu? you got a very vib vibrant blue neck, actually. So you're a casso. Legit dinosaur. I'm uh, more scared of you than a gigantic bus sized spider. But it's a new, it's a new animal. It's a new animal. What do you reckon, Sal? Pick a fight? All right. How bad are you going to be? There are some animals in Australia that you're like, oh, are you going to be friendly? Are you going to be a monster? Cassowaries, 100% genuine dinosaur monster. So I'm going to boop you. Bit of extra damage. That's, <laughs> that arrow is ginormous. Sally, watch out, please. going to keep his attention on me. No! Leave my Sal alone, please. Although we have pissed off... Another John Norma spider. Sal, we're gonna go fast. We're gonna go fast. Grab the casso. Grab the casso. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. <laughs> there's, there's too many things out here. There's little like patches of wasteland out here, which is actually kind of interesting. Would be fun to build. Oh, no. We'll go to the next section, actually. I feel like that one's gonna take us into Central Australia, but I wanna go to the next one down the coast road on the Princess Freeway. Um, yeah. I, sorry, what was I talking about? Yeah, there's little patches of wasteland around the place. It'd be really interesting to build a horde base. In Oh, there you are. I was gonna say oh, like in one of those little tiny uh wasteland patches just to get the extra looting bonus. Oh, there's another casso. There's another casso. Sal, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Sal, get in the car, get in the car, we're going. Trying to run it over though. I thought I saw a dingo, so I pulled over. I was lured. I was lured. I wanted to pat and I got bonked. We're coming up on our first town. This is probably gonna be Brizzy, I think. It's probably going to be Brisbane. We're still in the pine forest. I'm trying to remember what the map looked like. I don't have it handy right now, but I think you're going to be Brisbane. Very potentially. We're going to go on about a kilometer. We've used, oh my God, we used 6% of our fuel. I might have to stop over and take apart a couple of cars to get to their fuel tank, or at the very least find a servo. Oh, is there any, any petrol stations around here somewhere? I don't see any. Just a big old city that I don't want to go into. Now nah, we're gonna we're gonna attempt it. We're gonna push it. Try and get to the next town. The next town's Sydney. No, oh, maybe this is a good place to stop. Then no one wants to go to Sydney. Oh, that's too tempting though. That's way too tempting. It's a bombs balls like right here. <sighs> We're not gonna find a better opportunity. Oi, stay away from Sal. No, no, absolutely not. You do not hurt my dog. I'll hurt you right back again. Or I'll call in Skippy over there for reinforcements. We're not going to get a better opportunity to get some super corn than right now. I reckon that's probably, that's probably actually the right move, isn't it? That's probably the right move. Um, Sal, I'm going to pick you up. You should still have all the stuff in your pockets when I uh, take you back again. But can I Nitro Express a Bob's Boars? Oh, <laughs> there's Tassie Devils and Roos are plenty. Let's go find a giant pig. I'm really only here for the super corn, but I've got to go through the whole POI properly anyway. The question is going to be, though, do I try and fight Grace at the end of it? Or, oh, shit, or, oh my god, he's mad. He's mad, but is he stuck? He is stuck. In fact, I'm going to try and go with the knife. That's not a knife. That's a spoon, although a spoon probably do more. Come on. I need to get that bleeding damage going. There you are. Yeah, now we're fine. But yeah, do I try and fight Grace or just take the loot and get out of here? I'm not sure I'm equipped for a, a big green boar fight. You know what, though? I said that out loud and now it's made me think what would be more appropriate in this than to run knives? Listen, if I'm going to go around saying everything's a spoon, may as well run knives as well. This is very... This is what I should be doing. I had to respec anyway because shotguns and clubs, I love the clubs, but the shotguns just aren't quite doing it for me. Um, scrap the skirts. If I go into you though, knives, knives and spoons and pistols. Fortitude has machine guns and ooh, brawler. Mm, no. <laughs> no. I want to like hint at Australian culture, not just like be right on the nose about it. That said though, brawler is built for frothies. Nothing but froths and machine guns. And I know that fists are a viable option from fists only, so that could actually be a pretty good idea. Shit, maybe it's more Australian to go and punch shit in the face than it is to use a spoon for a knife. 
Yeah, it's gonna have to be, isn't it? It's gonna have to be fortitude. We're gonna, we're gonna drink beers, punch things, and use machine guns. Perfect. I'm gonna come out of here though with just so much meat. Oh, g'day. Don't bother getting up, mate. It's gonna scratch my itchy, bloody nose, murdering zombies and scratching me nostrils. It's a standard day in a life for me. But look at all the meat we're gonna get out of here, though. I'm gonna. Sally's gonna be eating well for the next decade. The freshest of meat, nothing but bacon for Sal. Grab you, take all of your steaks. Perfect, and there should be another one. There is not another one. All right, that's all fine. Oh, actually, wasn't it? Nope, that's gone. I was gonna say, wasn't there a thing that in this you can harvest up zombie bodies? I should try that next time. In fact, here's one. I'm gonna test it out with Nance. Oh, oh god, I cut off her leg. All right, I was looking at what I was gonna get, but I can, can I pick up her leg and use it as a weapon? <laughs> like in Shaun of the Dead, where what's her face pulls off, Dylan Moran's, who actually was, I don't know, he was playing, pulls off his arm and uses that as a weapon against the zombies. Can I do that with Nance's thighs? Talk about thunder thighs, Nance is packing. But I did get, a good amount of bones out of you. That's how it should be. That helps with the bone shortage so much. I can't help but take all the good things that I need. Plus like all the stuff's in the car anyway. So I can just like kind of really stack it up and increase the size of the things. No real massive drama. I just can't, I can't resist. I can't help myself. Now I've, now I've gotten in the mindset that I need to break down everything I find so I don't run out of things later. Every time I have the chance to, I'm going to do that. I've gone the other way. I spent so long of my life never harvesting that stuff and then panicking later on. And now, I'm doing everything but. Oh my goodness. How are you? Don't make this weird, but I'm very excited to get both my hands around your shaft and see what you feel like. Modify you, take out all of my gubs. So you're doing a lot more, a lot more. Six and a half points on both attacks and How's your stamina? Stamina is the bleeding same. Gorgeous. Absolutely schmicko. In your old go. You've got an extra mod slot as well. So even more damage. That puts a smile on my dial. And I won't even need to see you in a little while. I'll grab you. I'll also grab you. Bacon, weapons, saddle dog. Dude, we're living our best life. I'm even going to grab all these purple bags of shit. I'm gonna relate to it on a personal and physical level, but that's okay. Take all of you. But it's also gonna help out later on in life with all the nitrate it gives me. Having that better shovel that one hits it too just makes it so much more viable. I heard someone. Nance, hop. Get your gooey. <laughs> Come taste my brand new tier five bats. Oh, <laughs> the glowy purple goodness makes me so happy. Dude, that's just a purple kind of day. As usually. A fair few of them through here. Make sure you're finished. I just want to. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Bonk. My bonk's much better than yours. It's not often I get to say that, but enjoy that right in your gob hole. Oh, I've, I've forgotten how this one works. Is it like you? And then you, I think it was? Yeah, it fucking was. Look at that. For once in my life, I remembered some things. Is this how regular people feel when they have sleep and always run on pure caffeine and spites? That's great. We're getting into the more thicker stuff now though. All those good feelings I need to forcibly subside because if I get way too cocky here, I will dive face first into Grace's pen and have several of my organs put inside me again in a different order. Take that back, take that back. Oh, quick rapid fire on you. No one in the cupboard. <laughs> no snacks in the cupboard. Just snacks out in the floor. We're all fine though. And that goes down. All right, but what we all came here for, or what I came here for at the very least, change over to the north and grab. Oh, I have to go, have to go through the roof. Hold on. <coughs> and grab the super corn. Nom, thank. Shit's getting broken outside, that's all fine. Supercorn stash with the seed and, or seed recipe and some seeds too. Bloody bonzum. I think that was the right call to come here. Often later on in the game, I'm looking for supercorn. I can't find it. But now, now I've got some. Half the problem's already taken care of. Normally, this downstairs area is pretty clear. Do you give me anything fun? These little, like, 
I don't know, like terrariums over the young? Can you give me seeds or anything useful? Electrical parts, polymers, and not much else. But normally, this area is relatively clear. I'm not going to take that for granted this time. Let's quickly double check that it is as clear as I remember. Grab that weapons bag from underneath that I usually forget. Thank you and thank you. Based on that quality three, I know you're not going to be as good as my tier five can can bat though. It can and it can. All right, so this is all clear. I'm going to go and drop this shit off in a box upstairs before I go and find Grace because I'm pretty chockers. I'm not... Look, Sal, I know I'd like... Like, you'd love to come and help me out with this one, but I promise you, <laughs> this isn't your fight. I just realized that it's half past two and I... <laughs> I was supposed to be driving clear across the country today. There's a long way to go. Like that's all. <gasps> <gasps> Stop breathing in, please, Josh. That's the thing I needed. All right, coming here was an absolute golden idea. Being a loot fiend sometimes pays off, but I was just laughing because the top end of Australia is closer to Melbourne. Uh, sorry, is further from Melbourne than Antarctica is from Melbourne. Antarctica is closer to Melbourne than the top end of the same country. So, it's a long bloody way to go. Now, I've gotten distracted halfway through. Does this go outside? It does go outside. Beautiful. Gonna chuck some shit into this box out here. Well, it was worth stopping. It was worth stopping just for that vehicle fuel saver mod. Absolutely gorgeous. You can all go into there. I might actually keep you with me. What's my loot level now while I've got these bad boys on? Oh, 40, 40 days. <laughs> Why is the loot always so bad? I hate the pine forest. It sounds like I've run out of time. I think some sort of wildlife is trying to get down to me, but oh, speaking of going down to things, do you reckon they've fixed Grace yet? Do you reckon... Oh, this could be interesting. Do you reckon like she wakes up every time you drop down now? Or potentially, can I like sneaky deek my way down? Jump on the ladder. And try and like get around. Ooh, get around out of here. Oh! <laughs> okay. Good news is she doesn't wake up immediately. Bad news is I'm now trapped in the pen with her. Can I go like this? Like that? And like that? And like that? Grace, stay sleeping. Huh? Can I, oh, can I please get up? Can I please get up? Pretty, pretty, please. Come on, there you go. <laughs> I absolutely chickened out of that. Because I just don't think I got it in me, but now I've got the high ground. Uh, cop that. Add an extra touch to your face. That one soon. Come nice and close. Come nice and close wherever you've gone. If only I had some bloody Molotovs or something. But come over here. Come over here. Yeah, there you go. That'll do. Shotguns. More shotguns. I want to try and conserve my... 762 ammo if I at all can. I don't have heaps of it. I don't have a good amount of shotgun rounds. Plus, there you fucking go. Plus, I specced into it. Job done. Bonza. Grace, sit down. I've harvested up all of the bodies on the ground because I need all the bones I can get. I'm sorry. I won't, I, I won't apologize. Your boy just likes to bone. Uh, got you. More bones. More steak. Can I go? Huh. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Come on, stamina. Up you get. No, not quite. Up you get. Fine. I'll go, the, I'll go the right way then. I thought my parkour would get me out. I was wrong. I did get a few skill points. Uh, fortitude. I've got a point machine gunner. I can get the next one. Boring got cardio. That's good. I might actually grab you then. And in fact, you know, I'll also grab minus 69 because I like minus 69 so much. <laughs> Please don't read into that and what I get up to when I go to mining towns. Uh, oh! <coughs> <clears throat> Let's pretend that you're manly, please, Josh. Ooh, there you go. Stamina mod for Spartan Sledges. Very interesting. I'm not rolling sledges, but thank you anyway. I like finding the new things. And I can now two-tap boxes. Bloody Bonza. Bloody beautiful. Happy me. Oh, and a suppressor as well. Hoo-wee. Hoo-wee. There's nothing I want to put you on, though. I want to sacrifice the, um, the, the damage output, but... Oh, that's a good get. Quickly checking the last box. We've got ooh, some ammo, some medical supplies, and Steven's treasure map. Steve-o, I'll wait till a little bit later for I pop that one there, champion, just because I don't want to do it too early. Why do it in the pine forest? I can do it in the... Uh, it's going to be the Windsor biome. What can I get rid of? I don't really need you. I've got plenty of it. I can scrap you. don't need you. I'm a little bit shockers. I'll keep it with it for now. Uh, you are... 
slightly better. Nah, I've got to keep the T6 on, surely. Got to keep the sixes on, surely. Something to protect my ankles. I'm definitely someone who needs that. I can scrap you. And oh, I don't really need you. And I don't really need anything else. I can turn that there we go, into more building blocks. Right, I think we're good. I think we're good to rock and roll. Nice. All right, Sal, I'm going to put some more stuff into you when I get back to the car. Because there's still quite a lot to go. Open that. There's all of this. Ah, shit. Fuck. God damn koalas. Where the fuck did you come from? You drop bear, little bitch. Holy shit. They're lurking around every corner. Not only was there a, a bloody koala, there was also a roo. Oh, oh, that was a tough jump. Haha. <laughs> What's it feel like to get out jump there, hot stuff? <laughs> I've got parkour. You do not. You're like native parkour, though. You can just snuggle up to your little koala friend and feel each other's fuzz. I'm not cute comfortable, which is fine. I'll actually... I'm just going to scrap you for the leather and save myself the effort. All right, Sal. Come with me, please. Now that it's relatively safe, I'm going to put you down. Like you. What's in your pack? Just a bunch of this stuff. All right, hold whatever you can. If only I had the buttons for you. There's my Jeep hanging out just outside. Oh, and a passing gas just down the road. I'm doing some petrol, so might even go on a cheeky little dink down the road and get some more dinosaur juice. I thought I heard a spider somewhere. There's probably spiders everywhere out here. It's Australia after all, but you open that. Here's that one. Beautiful. It's going to save me a lot. Ah! Oh, come on! Can you just give us a spell? No, stay away from Sal. Stay away from Sal. Didn't work. I don't want to shoot the car. I don't want to shoot Sally. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Every two seconds. I take my eyes off the horizon for two seconds and something's nibbling on me calf muscles. Make sure there's nothing furry and toothy coming for me this time around. What do you reckon Sal? Looks all clear. You can take all of that. I'm still... A little bit cucumbered. All right. What can I get rid of them? What's not actually doing anything for me right this very second? Plant fibers and glass. That, that can all go. I don't need that on me at all. Everything else here is pretty important. Let's bloody think it is. All right. Well, what's the time? It's 10 past six. I should probably try and find somewhere to shack up for the night. I don't think I'm getting out of Brisbane town tonight. Much as I might like to. I'm going to have to take a little pit stop in another major city. Apparently, driving the entire length of the East Coast was a little bit of a bridge too far. In fact, you know what? This passing gas, I think, is the one that has the bunker out the back of it. It does too. I mean, it's it's sketchy. I don't like going underground. Going underground means you don't have an escape. There's no way to get out of there when, not if, things kick off. Special ammo. The, oh, the breaching rounds are absolutely worthless. There's a horde. Sal, come here. I, don't, I, I know you want to help. I know you want to gnaw on shin bones like the best of them, but I just don't want you getting distracted and taken away from me and somewhere where I can't protect you. Bring one down here. Bring one down here. Make sure my shotgun's loaded because I did see a spider zombie. The least spidery spider I've seen in a long bloody time. You're gonna hop like a roof for me. Come on. Get, get over the zombies, please. I'm gonna take care of you first. There you go. Perfect. And I'll just put one into Loza for good measure. All right, now it's just all you lot and my bat. Uh-oh. And a real spider. Guys, now's not the time. Now's not the time. I heard a spider. I heard a spider. And a roo. Can you, wait, can you come help me skip? I, I could use a paw or two. Oh, there Yeah, look, this, uh, this tier 5 can can bat is a good time. <laughs> it's, it's a good time. I didn't know I had a proficiency for carpeting, but apparently I can do it outdoors using the skins of my enemies. You're gone. Cheeky loot bag with some dog food. Sal's going to be happy. I'll let you. I'll take the ammo that is going to queue cover me, I think, by one. We're all right. We're all right. There's a couple of extras to get through. Bonk. Bonk. They weren't clean bonks, but... Got him sat, got him finished, and got him put into the next life. God, the purple bat of dreams. It's the purple bat of dreams. All right, well, that was all super fun and stuff, but it's getting pretty late, so I do need to pull up my car out of the weather like that. It may be rusty, but it doesn't mean we can... Sal. 
Get, Sal, get out from under the car. That is not a safe space for you to be. Can I, can I pick you up or something? They, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Out from the car, please. All right. Quickly pick this, clear this joint, get into the bunker. But what I was saying is going underground always makes me nervous because when things go bad, you can't escape. If you're up, you can bail out a window, jump off a roof, do whatever you need to do. But going underground, the only way out is the way that the zombies are currently coming in. So not a great plan by anyone's metric. $800 reduce is a pretty good plan by anyone's metric though. Would not say no. Sorry, bud. I'm just going to do this as quick as I can. Oh, he... Alright, I'm just gonna say he took that arrow and was very excited about it. I had to give him an extra one because I'm just that generous. You can have that. I see you. <laughs> so many nightmares have happened in this pier while that we're starting to learn where all the zombies live. There's another one up there. Good shots. Fucking hell. Call me Robin Hood or Down Under. Robin or Loxley. Robin or Woodle. It's not quite how that works, but you know what I mean. Alright. You. And then. No more. Jeez, I'm making good time in here. I'm just going to go as fast as I can, like the gingerbread man, to get down and clear out the bunker. Because if I get you sorted, and I don't... <laughs> they could have placed her at a different angle. I mean, for goodness sake, definitely making an impression. going to see that when I close my eyes at night now. Right through the back of the skull, remove that from ScoMo's head, and insert something else. Go, go, Sal. Go, Sal. Get him. It's all yours. It's all yours. Oh, look at that, Sally. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm going to quickly clear out this place so I can put some things in cupboards or whatever and make sure that I go and get all of the petrol, all of the loot and stuff from upstairs. I can spend the night doing that. And uh, that will be probably the best option, I think. I'm trying to think of my feet, which is not great. You, spade mod, and some ammo. Straight in and straight in. Make it even better than before. Check the big boy crate two for some tier six thighs. I have some tier six thighs. Thank you for noticing. But I think you're better to be sold than used. I just really don't like heavy armor now. I used it for demos. It slows you down too much. Especially early game. I think light's the way to go. Make sure I don't forget the weapons bag behind this vent. I'll never forget it again. Thank you everyone who pointed it out to me. Tactical Warfare. I can make a pipe quality 5. The AK is still better, but it's good to have because I will need some machine guns later on in life. Cornmeal. Thanks for nothing. Salmon. I'm a little bit peckish, so don't mind if I do. And that will do us. Alright, I've already chucked all my shit into you. I have to go and get the rest of my stuff. Though, Sal, give me all of that. I'll put it into... Not that one, actually. For that one for now, I'll come back and empty it out later. I just want to make another box or two, just so I can reorganize my inventory. I had it organized, but I've gone raiding since then. I don't have oodles and oodles of time. I'm going to spend some of it breaking down this car. That's got some more petrol in it. Plus, I'm taking every, every drop of fuel I can find from any sort of barrels or anything around as well. That gave me a radiator. Did it give me an engine, did it? No, it gave me a tier 5 sparky battery. Delicious. Love that for me. There's also a ladder going upstairs. Oh, it's getting late at night. You're gone. I'm just trying to do everything that's loud before the sun sets. Painkillers, thank you. I'll also grab you for the polymers. That's not the thing I wanted. I wanted you. Thank you. And thank you. No more fuel, I don't think. I still need to go and get the books from upstairs up in there, but I can wait for a moment. Yeah, nah, I think we've done well. I think we've done pretty well with this. I feel kind of bad just using Sally as a pack mule at the moment, but everything can go into you. Thank you. It's about to be night time. Take all of that. We'll rearrange it back downstairs. Come inside. I, mean, I know Sally can operate <laughs> operate doors. You're the only dog in the world with opposable thumbs. Up, come on. Up, up, up. You go. I'm not sure what the... What's, what's the right way you're supposed to go to get up to these places? I always get it wrong. Or oh, is it that way? It's that way. That's much easier. All right. Get the loot. Get back downstairs and pray nothing finds us. We didn't get anywhere near as far down the country as I thought I wanted to. Some more fuel. Oh, some harvesting books. Thank you. A wheel. I did also get this sniper book out of that book pile. Leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies. Thank you. Take that. Sal's still around. All right. There's still lots of looting and breaking, ooh, and breaking down to do up here, but... Gee whiz, Sal, you fucking made my heart skip several beats. Oh, you're taking years off my life, doggo. You're killing me. 
Come on, Sally. Come inside. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, there you go. Nope. Hang on. <laughs> Listen, I know you can open doors and stuff, but don't open that one. Okay. I've done all that I can. I think you have the wood on you somewhere. Yes, you do. I just need... Let's go like three of those, I think. I need to make some room for the car stuff. I need to make some room for the Sally stuff. And some for the me stuff. Lots of storage. You, you, you. Just need to sort it all out. While I'm down here, I'm just going to quickly put on some cooking. In fact, I can turn the water I found into actual water, not murky water, and turn that into coffee to use the coffee beans. The things that I have that are doing absolutely nothing for no one, may as well take advantage of them. Like you, and like you. Got to free up the space after all. That's... Was that two and a half, four and a half, and about six minutes worth of fuel? So in you go. And that should just about do us, I think. I'm leaving these two can bats behind. They'll take you because you're worth some money, but the tier one can stay here. Um, I, I can't scrap them, so I may as well just chuck them in. The rest of this stuff all looks pretty good to me. Don't need acorns. Uh, mm, yeah, no, I'll keep the rest. I'll keep the rest. So anything going to you goes in them, and then them, and then there. So that's all the stuff I've got to take. That's that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of bloody stuff. What do you reckon, Sal? Come in. You can stay right over here, please. On the nice rug. Keep yourself nice, nice and warm. There you go. There you go. Pat, pat, pat. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I'm just going to sit in this bunker and wait until morning. And as soon as morning comes... Take on off through Brisbane. You took the roundabout way to get here, didn't we? Take on off through Brizzy and keep heading south. I want to get to Melbourne. Hopefully tomorrow. Maybe we'll just make it to Sydney tomorrow, then Melbourne the day after. It's a long bloody way. A 10k map after all. It's going to take some driving, some looting, a lot of pit stops along the way. But I'll have to come back and make those pit stops and keep on going south in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If we don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.